Good morning, everyone. We haven't vlogged in a long time because we've been so busy packing. We have to leave this amazing London flat. Wednesday, it's Monday. So <laughs> we've been really busy packing. Um, I mentioned in the last vlog, Sam had his surgery, so he's scooting around. So I'm doing a lot of the more heavy lifting and he's doing a lot more of the childcare. Although right now he's getting a upper body lift in, so it's still really good. He's moving his body and he's recovering really nicely, doing a lot of physical therapy and stuff already. Um, but yeah, so we fly home to the States on Wednesday, going to our home in Kansas City. So packing is just one of those things that you don't realize how much stuff you have. It's wild. It's just a little two bedroom apartment. I thought it would be a quick pack and it's proving not to be. Um, especially he's just so on the move. So it's kind of all hands on deck on him all the time. Literally all hands on deck. Like, I can't help myself. So yeah, to add to the stress, we have to find an apartment for next season. You know, we're here another three years. So ideally we could find a place with like a, ooh, with like a two year lease. Um, I don't want to commit to anywhere for three years because three years we could have another baby and be looking for another situation. But I can't even think about that yet. So I'm getting ahead of myself. So we had a perfect apartment. It was like down the street. We love this area. And oh no, he fell asleep. <laughs> he's awake. He's awake. This is our new game. Oh no, he's asleep. Oh, he's asleep. Oh, he's sound asleep. Oh no. He's awake. Don't worry everyone, he's awake. <laughs> So we found a perfect apartment. We were supposed to get the keys today, two days before our flight. It was perfect. We were just gonna do a bunch of like Uber trips back and forth. I could even walk back and forth. He's asleep. He's awake. <laughs> Jugster. Um, and last minute we had put down a deposit, set up renter's insurance, set up Wi-Fi, yeah. had everything ready. I started ordering like decor for this place, like we were, we thought we were in. And the landlord pulled out in the 11th hour and it was just too good to be true. We had to work so hard to close all the documents to get accepted with visas, because we're foreigners. Sam's visa expires in June. We're trying to get this place now. I mean, it was a mess. We got a place, we were so excited, they backed out. So we're back at square one. I'm still like cold calling agents. Today I have two viewings, I had two the other day. I'm doing nothing but see apartments in London. And I'm getting so frustrated because all of a sudden they start all looking the same. You end up loving something about one and wanting that in the other. And then it doesn't have that, but it has great location and whatever. It's just like a, such a process it has not been very fun because it's been so rushed. And whoa, standing, whoa, good job, baby. Also that, we're very close to walking. Very close to walking. But he's really proud of his standing, which he should be. So that's what we're doing. That's why I haven't vlogged. I've barely been on Instagram. Um, because I've just been running around London looking for a house. No, we want another two-bedroom apartment. I'd love to stay in Canary Wharf. Um, because I love this area, but that's what we're doing. It's like a logistical nightmare right now, but we'll figure that out. And then on top of it, I am getting a bit anxious for our flight. Now he's one and Although Sam is with me, Sam is in his scooter. He's one-legged, so um, <laughs> just going to be a mess. So I'll report back. Hopefully I find an apartment in the next two days. I hope I find one tonight at a four o'clock viewing, so I'll keep you posted. I should be documenting this more because this is nuts. same shirt as yesterday. I just have to document all of our stuff because this is something else. <laughs> oh, one last look at this big trolley. Oh, and this is just one of our loads. <laughs> Good luck. You should see that as a load. Okay. Something I did not think we'd have to do when we packed up this apartment is get a freaking storage unit. 
didn't realize how much stuff we had. With a kid, you just accumulate all the stuff. And I can't blame the kid because a lot of it's my clothes. And then like houseware stuff. And so we've never had to do this overseas. Oh, today has been a mess. And we're still like homeless for next year. Still trying to find an apartment. We're cold calling agents. We're like at square one. I just realized my Uber <laughs> dropped me off with all this stuff. I'm going to have to walk home. Oh, and tomorrow we fly and like neither one of us feel ready for a flight and that's a whole thing to wrap your mind around like getting the baby stuff all packed I just realized I have to go get diapers and I already went to the grocery store today to get more formula and I have to go back to get more diapers forgot that so it's just I'm just looking forward to getting home in Kansas City feeling like we are in our own space in our house and can settle and catch our breath because we are looking for some peace that's what I need. I need a little peace and stillness. And we're only in Kansas City for three weeks, so I've got it for three weeks. And then things ramp up and we have a pretty busy summer after that. And then we're back. So back in the storage unit. You will see me here in August. Okay, so this is my walk home. So the day's actually ending pretty nice. I'm just so excited to get in bed tonight and wake up tomorrow just thinking about the travel and not thinking about the move. And an old drunk man drinking a beer on a bench just called me sexy. And here I thought I just needed my Botox. I'm so excited, I'm getting Botox day one in Kansas City, so excited. Um, and all my baby hairs out and showing and pimples out and it made me feel pretty good. So this day is taking a turn. So guess who has a flair for the dramatics? The Deckers. I like flared jeans. <laughs> me too, I like flared jeans too. Uh, we leave tomorrow and we finally had an offer accepted on a place that we have not seen. We know the area though. We know the area. Um, our third try, is this our third try with getting an offer accepted to rent a place for next year? Everything has to be right, the date, furnished, whatever, but you blah, know what blah. they say. Ugh. Three strikes and you're out. We only had two strikes, so we're, we're we in. Didn't strike out. We're in. So yeah, just when I thought I was done, storage unit, last grocery run, everything, Sam calls me and said our offer was accepted. We have to go see this place to like really make sure we like it now. And yeah, very dramatic departure from London, Mr. Decker. Happens every time. This is nuts. Good morning, today is flying day, but first one more trip to the storage unit and I'm walking it there. You know, we had to get our stroller in anyways, so I thought, let me load it up with our sheets. Oh, I just realized I forgot it. Oh, whoa, whoa, I just realized I forgot his pack and play. Okay, gonna need to figure that one out. But final trip to the storage unit for now, and then we go to Heathrow right after. So beautiful day, really sad to leave today, obviously. But things have come along, and I think we found a place to move into in August. Okay, she's all loaded up. Cannot believe we've accumulated this much stuff in a two bedroom apartment in one year, but bye bye. Take advantage of some airport deals. Second pair, 30% off. Yes, please. Now the question is, how long till Sam loses or breaks one of these nice new pair of sunglasses? I'm not skeptic. I'm realistic. Everything's gone super well. We've gotten through security, bags checked. We had a really great Uber driver, a really great guy checking our bags. So perfect travel day so far. Never take that for granted. I bet the whole way. Set the whole way. Okay, found this great little kids play area. Letting him crawl around a bit, get some energy out. Yeah. Crawl, 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 Bubba. Come on. He's not moving as much as I'm wanting. There we go. Get some blood flow. Boarding, boarding. You gonna be good? You gonna be good? <laughs> 
<laughs> Sit in your own chair. It's so good. We're at lunchtime. Jump it. Okay, the flight is going great. We're like three hours in. Wolfie's already had an amazing nap. And I thought I would show what I do skincare wise on a flight that is like not just good skincare in general, but it's almost like using the time to do a treatment day, which is what I do with these Dr. Dennis Gross pads. They're amazing. I use it about once a week. You have to wait two minutes in between side one and side two. They're an alpha beta peel, so this is super exfoliating, a bit aggressive. I do use the extra strength, which is probably why. Also, check that out. Ingenious, right? Okay, so I'm gonna do this first layer. So I have on just a little like tinted moisturizer today and a little mascara. And that's it. I do like to keep the mascara on and like eyebrows. So I just wanna feel decent when we land. And I'll kind of reapply. I'll show you. Move it up my neck. Let's see, some makeup to adjust. Always. But I do hands. I think that's important too. I try to do a lot of my skincare actually on my hands as well. Okay, while I'm letting that wait before I do the second side, what I'm going to do after is I don't know if you say sick of hair. I got this as a little sample, but I've used the big size before too. Super thick, creamy, and hydrating. And then when we land, I'm going to do the Arborian BB cream which will cover all my pigmentation of so much. Um, and the color I wear is nude, and this is amazing. It has an SPF 20 for when you land. And then, because I love a lip liner, I feel like for me, like on my face, that makes a huge difference. I'll do a touch of lip liner, a little bit of this plumpy gloss, which is so good, in color I Heighten by L'Oreal. It's a plumping, like minty, really refreshing gloss, so I love that. Um, also, side note, I'm getting Botox tomorrow, so I'm taking my Arnica now. I guess I should take that right now. Um, you should take it for a couple days leading up. So I'm taking four of these. Under your tongue. Okay, starting with the second side, which is pretty calming. The first pad is the more aggressive one. Um, but this is just... Really good stuff. I've been using it forever, so I do know that I'll react well to this. And the consistent use of this will help make these all not worse. But I have no active breakouts right now, so my skin's actually feeling pretty good. Um, like for me, this is just the pigmentation I deal with and have to cover up. You can see it's so bad around my eyebrows, which is really weird. I could laser it. I might laser it actually when I get home, but summer is a horrible time to do laser because you're out in the sun and it's just really not going to do anything. So I guess I'm just accepting that makeup is my way to go. Um, but that's why this Arborian, like, I mean, that's a good compromise. I don't want to wake up on a random morning and put makeup on if I'm just in my house. But I also don't want to see all this pigmentation and discoloration all the time. Um, I just realized I have in, uh, I just bought at the airport, like one of those facial sprays that is like neutralizing and calming. And I want to do that before I put this on because you want to put um, a lot of your moisture sealing products on wet skin, like hyaluronic acid, which I don't have on me, and a cream. So I think I'm going to take this back to my seat. Little beauty session is over. Sam's with the baby. Um, he just snapped on me for like an hour and a half. It was heaven. Got to watch a lot of selling sunset too. So that's our flight. I'm going to do a little bit of the, um, I forgot how to say, Oh, bean thermal spray, I'll show it. And then do a touch of this, and then right before we land, I'll do a little of the SPF, okay?
Okay, we just landed in Houston and fun little story. I don't know if it's right there, but that's where cars are picking people up. Sam and I met at this airport, IH, Houston International. He picked me up at the airport. That's when we met for the first time. That is a story for another time, but it's kind of funny that now we're here with a babe. We're a little delirious and had a long security get our bag pre-checked, but then Sam had a really, really interesting experience going back to security. He got actually quite a bit of action, like some kind of early high school, middle school feel-up action going on. So it wasn't all for nothing. <laughs> 